Hi everyone, Miss Dolman here. I hope you're all okay. And today we are doing another numeracy lesson, looking at multiplication and division, and we're looking at equal groups again, like we did yesterday. So I hope you're all okay, ready to learn. So off we go. So today's target is I can make equal groups, and you need to read the question, count the groups, then count how many are in each group. Decide if they are equal or unequal. It might be that you have to say how to make them equal if they are unequal and explain how you know. So you have to work them out in order to explain. Okay, let's begin. So we continue to learn about multiplication. Um, this is what the multiplication sign is. We have been learning about equal groups, which we are continuing to do, in, to do today and we did yesterday. We've looked at groups of, repeated addition, and also we have looked at arrays. So I've got a task here for you to do to get those brains working. So we've got some groups of the pictures and we have some questions. Pick a picture, pick a question and answer it. Simple as that. So if I'm looking at the picture with the hands, how many groups are shown? There's two groups and that's it. Pick another picture, pick another question, represent these groups using number frames. Okay, and then you would answer that. Where it says using counters or using cubes, you can either draw the picture or you can represent it using something that you might have at home that's the same like counters, Lego, uh, Duplo, anything that's the same and you've got lots of. And that's the start of the lesson really. So we need to tick the sentences that describe the groups below. So A, there are five equal groups with three in each group or B, there are three equal groups with five in each group. So only one statement is correct and we need to tick the sentences that describe the groups below. So, one group, two groups, three groups. So there are three groups and I'm just going to jot down what I found out so I don't forget. And there are one, two, three, four, five in that group. One, two, three, four, five in that group. And one, two, three, four, five in that group. So I've got three groups of five. So there are three equal groups with five in each group. Yes, I've got the right numbers here, but it's the wrong way round. I've only got three groups, as you can see. So it's, so it's being careful with the correct way round that we're doing it. Now it's your turn. So I'd like you to follow what I just modelled to you. You tick the sentences that describe the groups below. So you need to read the sentences first and then count how many groups, jot down that answer and then count how many are in each group and jot that down at the top. Then you can write which one is the correct sentence. So pause the video whilst you are doing that. And here are the answers. So remember to tick or fix. So 1A, there are three equal groups with 12 apples in each group. B, there are three equal groups with five in each group. C, there are three equal groups with four in each group. And D, there are three equal groups with six in each group. So pause the video if you need to catch up and mark them, tick or fix. So we now need to match the pictures to the correct group number. So we have lots of squares or cubes, sorry, in here because they're 3D. They are cubes. And I'm just going to write down the information that I have, counting the columns and the rows that we did with arrays. So this is why this that lesson is going to help us. So I've got one, two, three, four, five going across in my row. And in my column going down, I've got one, two, three. 
this one I've got one, two, three, four in my row and two in my column, one, two. And here I've got one, two, three in my row and one, two, three in my column. So it, it looks like a raise. And now I need to match them to the sentence. So I've got two groups of four, which is this one, because I've already done the hard work now. Three groups of three, which is this one. And three groups of five in this one. And so I'm using what I previously learnt in my numeracy lessons to work this out. With this question, it says these groups are equal. This is a statement and it's telling me that these groups are equal. But I need to say whether that's true or false and explain how I know. So you do that by counting. If they are equal, they must be both the same. So let's count how many stars we have in the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's true. And I then need to explain why. It is true because there are six stars in each group. So therefore they are equal. True, these groups are both equal. There are six stars in each group. So for this question, we are being asked, how can you make the groups equal? So in the first group, count with me, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six teddy bears. And in the second group, we've got one, two, three, four. So they are unequal and we need to make the groups equal. Now we've only got those amount of bears, so we can't just suddenly put more in. So I need to make sure that they have both got the same amount. And I can do that by moving one bear from the group on the left to the group on the right, and that will make two equal groups of five. So if I'm taking one from the left and moving it to the right group, I'm then making two equal groups of five. These groups are equal true or false. So the first thing that you need to do is count how many are in the group. So in the first one, count with me, we've got one, two, three, four. In the second group, we've got one, two, three. So these groups are equal, true or false. First of all, it's, it's false because one group shows four stars, the other group, group shows three stars. So they are unequal. And what could we do to make them equal? We could take one star away from the left and add it into the right one. So I'm from group one to group two. Or we could take one from group one away and get rid of one star. Either way is fine. And now it's your turn. So you need to make equal groups. So for the first lot of questions, you need to choose true or false and say whether the groups below are equal. Then you need to put the counters into three equal groups. You need to share them out equally and then how many counters in each group. And number three is how can you make the groups equal just like the last question that we've done but make sure you always count how many are in each group first then on the second worksheet it's asking for more of an explanation how how do you know so the group below is equal is it true or false explain how you know the number two is how can you make the groups equal what have you got to do to make them the same and number three in the space provided write down the matching equal groups so have a look at the pictures and write down the matching equal groups, the ones that are equal, not unequal. And pause the video whilst you are doing that. Now just to go over question number three again, they're all muddled up. So you need to find the one that represents all the ten, there's three tens, there's the pictures that represent two fives and the pictures that represent three threes, just to clarify. 
Let's get ready to mark your work now. So making equal groups, the groups below are equal, tick true or false. So 1A is true and 1B is false because the middle one only has two while the rest of them have three. Put the counters into three equal groups. You should have had three counters in each group. And for the B, you should have had four counters in each group. Number three, how can you make the groups equal? You could move one star from the left box to the right box and that would make two groups of five. The second one, this group below is equal, true or false, it's true. They've all got the same amount because each of the three groups have nine balloons in it. So an explanation as simple as that. How can you make the groups equal? Well, you can move two stars from the right box to the left box to make them two groups of 10. And in the space provided, write down the matching equal groups, three tens, 10 P coins and base 10, two fives, hands and number frames, and three threes, dice and balls. Tick or fix your answers. And your final challenge of today's lesson is to sort the pictures below into equal or unequal groups. Okay, so which one goes into equal and which one goes into unequal? You should be able to recognise them now by just looking at the, the pictures, um, hopefully anyway, from all the learning that we've done on equal groups. So pause the video whilst you're doing that. And here are the answers. Did you put them into the correct groups? And hopefully when you look at the unequal ones, you can plainly see that there are some missing. And so that would be easy to look at and notice. So your target today was that you can make equal groups. And by doing that, you ha may have had to suggest how to make them equal by moving the counters or the stars from one group to another. It's also about you may have had to share them out equally, um, which some of the questions were in the video. So to be successful in this lesson and to be able to have worked out the correct answers, you should have read the questions because it always tells you what you need to do. You needed to count the groups. You needed to then count how many are in each group. You decided if they were equal or unequal and then give an explanation of how you know. So tick the ones that you've done. So have you counted the groups? Have, did you count how many are in each group? Did you decide if they were equal or unequal and explain how you knew? If you've done all of that and you've got your, your uh, answers correct or nearly all correct, then there's a big smiley face to you and a well done. If you did some of them and you know you, you didn't get them all wrong then you'd be the middle one and if you haven't got a clue what this lesson was about at all then you'll be a puzzled face a confused face and i would suggest having another look at the video and having another go and finally as always don't forget to share your work with us in school love seeing your work um, seeing what you have produced and how well you're doing at home so please whatsapp email or send your work to us when you're on your daily walk to the school post box make sure that you put your name on it so it's not a mystery uh, of who it belongs to um, i hope you've enjoyed the lesson i'm feeling more confident uh, knowing about equal groups now and counting them i hope you're all okay stay safe everybody and i'll speak to you very soon bye bye for now